This is a tutorial on how to calculate a molar mass for sulfur trioxide. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you have the proper formula for sulfur trioxide. It is a molecular compound, which means the compound starts with a nonmetal. And because it's a molecular compound, we do not consider the charges first. We simply write the formula based on the prefixes that are present in the name of the compound. There's one sulfur in the compound, and there are three oxygens because the prefix tri is uh, represents three. So this is what the compound would look like, SO3. Now to calculate a molar mass, you need a periodic table and a calculator. And when you have your periodic table, look up the element sulfur and its mass on the periodic table. This is what sulfur squared looks like on our periodic table. And you're going to take this mass here, 32.066, and add it to oxygen's mass times three. Now, there are three oxygens in the formula and that's why we're multiplying oxygen's mass times three. You're basically adding up all the element masses that are present in the formula. When you type this into a calculator, you can type in 32.066 plus 15.999 times 3. You can put this in parentheses just to keep everything um, neat. And if you did this calculation separately, you would get 47.997 for just the oxygen portion. But you could just type in all of this into the calculator at once, and you would get 80.063 grams per mole. As a ratio, which is how we um, represent our hour R's in a GWR, our ratio would look like this. One mole of SO3 to 80.063 grams of SO3. It's really important that you're very thorough with the way you represent your ratios. And by thorough, I mean make sure that you have a unit of moles and a substance SO3 on one side of the equation. And on the other side, not equation, the ratio. On the other side of the ratio, you have grams and the substance 